guess what time it is. If you guess drink fridge restock, then you guessed right because that's all that's left and some butter because I bake a lot. But we got some cold brew coffee and some lactose free milk and um, this is the most pathetic I've ever seen this fridge. So today I went and stocked up and I'm gonna take you guys along for the ride, show you what I put in here because I had a lot of people ask me for this video um, that they wanted to see the drink fridge when it was restocked. So here we go. So I actually only buy the kids the little mini sodas. That way they're not wasting a full soda because before I even realized there was mini sodas, I would stock this with only full sodas and be wasting sodas all the time because they would take one or two sips and then it would go flat and I'd have to pour it out. Also, this fridge is in our garage and it does only get filled with drinks. So you will not see me put anything else in here. Last time I did a drink fridge restock, someone asked me where our food was. This is not the food fridge, solely for drinks. Okay, so now that I have the door stocked, I'm gonna move on to that half, beer. You can pretty much always find beer on the top shelf of the drink fridge because that's the hubbies. The milk is actually supposed to go down here. Um, so I'm gonna put the milk we just got in first and then move those down to the bottom. All right, that's good. So now we're gonna add the juices. And then we have those juices that I'm gonna put in and I got thirsty and drank some of this. It was really good, I would recommend it. We're going in with the Snapples now. I also did get the little mini versions cause they like these for breakfast um, sometimes. So what I'm gonna do, I usually put them up there, but I'm actually just gonna fill this drawer with, the, with them. They look so cute in there. And of course our sweet tea. Yes, I know I already put Dr. Pepper in the fridge, but the little ones are the kids and the big ones are mine. And the last drink to be added right there. So this is what it looks like when it's full. We have the Capri Suns and then a variety of sodas for the kids. And then over here we have mine and the hubby sodas. We have a bunch of different juices and teas, milk. Um, we have water and then I had extra drinks so I threw them down in the bottom but this will last us probably I would say definitely over a month if not over two months it just depends on if we have company if the kids have friends over and all that so it lasts a while I promise we don't just drink this in like a week or two fridge is looking empty so you know what that means it's grocery time fun fact it doesn't say it on the front but this is actually dairy free mommy juice white mommy juice red every time i need a lemon or a lime for some reason i never have any on hand so i like to just keep this as emergency backup now for the beverages save the sea life This drink holder dispenser thingy is linked in my bio. Cream soda and ginger beer. I'm kind of a grandma, but I don't know, this ginger beer is kind of spicy. Definitely more razzle dazzle than regular ginger ale. These are super good and also dairy free. They're made with soy milk, which isn't my favorite type of milk, but I'll take it. And of course we gotta have some sweet tea. One, two, three. Always keep juice boxes on deck for Zaya's school lunch. I've already got some apple in the fridge, so let's stock the fruit punch flavor. And voila. Extra juice boxes go in the pantry, in the back stock area, and I'm actually gonna pull out these mandarin cups from before and restock them. I only stocked about half the box the first time. And this little container is ready to be refilled. Y'all didn't like the way that I stacked them up in here, but that's too damn bad.
Last time I realized that five of these, I think, was the perfect number to fit in this container, but they only had three left at the store. How unsatisfying. I really liked the regular queso from this brand that I tried for the first time last time. So this time I'm trying the chorizo version. One of my favorite vegan cheeses. Still got spinach and salad from last week. Adding more apple slices and cucumbers. Should I do a part two?